I am Shakira Unique and this is True Tip Tuesday. Now today's topic is going to be focused on the beauty industry which is, I'm going to narrow it down a little bit more, it's actually going to be the wig or hair extension business. Tips that I can give you for that is going to be centered around kits. Different kits that you can actually offer that will make your business stand out and be different. I'm not going to go into detail about each and every different kit that I feel like you should have. I'll save that for another video. But today's video is actually going to be about just uh, different items that you can include in your kits as far as like your wig kits. If someone was to order a wig from you or hair extensions from you or whatever, this is a, a bundle pack that they can receive from you. What I would include in mine is what I'm basically going to be telling you guys. So... First things first is the wig, of course. I feel like whether you put your wig inside a little Ziploc bag, how it comes from the vendor, or if you have it in inside a, a silk bag, the little satin bags, whichever one is, is fine. It honestly is fine. It, even if you take it out of that little Ziploc bag and you just have that little hairnet that it comes in, you can sit it in there like that. It's fine. Like it's you know, but you need the wig, a comb. Now, there are two different types of combs that I like to include in it. I like to include a rack tail comb with the silver end. And then I also like to include a wide tooth comb just in case you curl the wig and you want your client to basically be able to just comb them out. If it is a ready to ship wig or a customized wig or whatever the case may be, that's pretty much going to determine what type of comb I'm going to place inside there. Now the next thing is a wig stand. When I say a wig stand, I don't mean a canvas head. Obviously, you're not going to give your clients a canvas head. You're not going to give them a styrofoam head. You know, I mean, I mean, you could, because <laughs> a styrofoam head is definitely a step up from a wig stand that I'm talking about. You know, but I just wouldn't. I wouldn't worry about it. I would just get me a little, the little wig stand. They cost like I think I, I want to say it's sixty-seven to ninety-eight cent or something like that. They literally. A dollar and they come in different colors so you can actually match your brand if you want to but that's something that a lot of people don't really even know about so yeah I would definitely include it uh, the next thing I want to say is a stocking cap because you want people to be able to put their wig on a lot of people want to use stocking caps some people don't it's fine either way whether they take it and use it for something else it's, it's whatever as long as they have it in there because you want to aim to be a one-stop shop you want everything to be inside this box that they have so that way they don't have to run and go out to the store so you want to include the wrap the foam wrap, if you use foam wrap, if you recommend foam wrap, that's what you want to include in there. Now, obviously, they are paying for all of these items that they get. Let me say that again. They are paying for all of the items that they get. It's not that they're purchasing a wig and getting all this stuff for free. You can advertise it as that, but your wigs better be six and seven and eight hundred dollars. Just saying. So... They're paying for every single thing that they get. So it's not like you're losing money or anything like that. Even if you go to the hair store and you buy whatever foam wrap you want to use and you take their label off and you slap on your own. It could be a sticker. It could be something that you printed the label sheets inside the printer and print off your own. Like it could be whatever. You want to include that um, foam wrap. You want to include any glue if you recommend glue. So yeah, that's just a different way, quicker way maybe I should say because a lot of times you have to test out different vendors and stuff like that and a lot of people don't have time for that. So moving on. Next thing that I feel like you should include whether it's branded or not is a bonnet. You need a bonnet or a silk satin scarf. I feel like a bonnet is a lot of people just throw on bonnet, so a bonnet is more appropriate in this day and age. But also a silk or a satin scarf can be really cute and really fashionable. So it really goes either way. Whether I mean, your customers don't necessarily know because you will list that in the, okay, this bundle includes a satin bonnet or a satin scarf. They don't get to choose. If you want them to choose, that's up to you, but 
I would just say either or so that way if I'm running short on one I could just substitute it for other and it's no problem so yeah also I feel like you should include a thick hairnet uh, you can find these also on Alibaba and find a vendor and they have all types of different colors so you can match your brand if you'd like. But I just feel like a thick net is sometimes the way to go. Like it, it, especially if you have, if you sell braided wigs, sometimes the client just might want to have to put it on whether it's for, for work or not and not necessarily have the look of a bonnet. But they have that net that they can have as well. Um, you can also do that instead of a bonnet. I wouldn't because a lot of people would probably prefer the bonnet just because they can sleep in that. But if they want to go out in public, they have that net that they could just throw on. Which, again, that's something that a lot of people see in the hair stores and they bypass. But really, they are huge. They are jumbos. I would recommend it. Another thing that I would include is, y'all, don't don't be staring all at my edges and things. Because, you know, I don't really know how to do them things. I don't got edges in real life. So, yeah. But I would include a spoolie or a edge brush. Um, so that way it's in there. I wouldn't include any edge control unless you recommend people to use edge control on their edges or their baby hairs or on their wigs uh i don't so i wouldn't but some people do you know so the next thing i think you should include is something like a the edge ties thing that's probably why all my edges be jacked up because i'm gonna be down them things down boy but i do believe that you should tie them down so I would recommend and i'm going to start doing that even though if you give them a silk scarf Maybe you won't have to put that in. I don't know how that will go. But these are just items that you could put in there. You're not putting every single item on this list inside this kit. That's an overkill. I would include jumbo clips. Uh, so that way when they're putting the hair on, you know, if you got to cut the lace, the perimeter or whatever, they could just put use the clip, put it in, boom. They don't got no problem with it. You also want to include any wax sticks. Any like hairsprays, if you use spritz and you want to brand spritz, your own spritz, you can, girl, you can. There's so much that we use, like scissors or shears. You can include that in there. Now, again, I will say this again. Everything that I'm saying to include is not going to be in the kit. Different kits get different things. I feel like it's mandatory. If you want people to keep coming to you, you have to give them something free. And it has to be a surprise. It has to be a secret what it is. Like, you can't tell them free lip gloss. No, because they might not want the lip gloss. They might end up waiting, saving their coin until you say free lashes. You know? So, no, we ain't doing that. We ain't doing that. Look, plus free item, plus surprise item, plus, you know, whatever. It's a mystery. You know, like mystery beauty product, you know, and it's going to be like something to accessorize their look that they're going for. So thing that I feel like you should include free is a pair of lashes. Don't have to include the lash glue if that's not what you want to do, girl. But I feel like you should definitely include a pair of lashes. Don't let them pick. It's a surprise. They get what they get. Uh, two is lip gloss. You get your label maker, print out your label, stick it right on there. They'll never know. The next thing is hair accessories. You have to get something free, whether it's some hair, little hair clips that say like boss or beauty or queen or butterfly clips. You know, those are in now. A headband or, you know, so many different looks. All right, so the next thing, I would definitely include two business cards because they can keep one and they will probably end up giving one to a friend. Another thing that I feel like you should definitely include is a thank you card. And I'm not saying that you have to do this, but this is what I do. Thank you on the front and whatever code I want to use, if I want to give them 10% off or if I wanted them to share whatever or tag me on, I put all of that on one side. And it's really hard to do without it seem, seeming so cluttered, but it could be done if you narrow it down to what's important. And then on the other side, bam, they flip it over. I include picture tutorials, only like six pictures. If I'm feeling funky, maybe eight. It shows them the different steps to apply the wig quickly somewhere on the same card i would include a link 
to a full video as to how I apply that wig. They purchased the wig from you, so you're going to go ahead and basically give them a tutorial of how to apply the wig themselves. That is all I have for today's True Tip Tuesday video. It was mainly about what you can include inside your kits. Please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Share my video with anybody you believe will enjoy it.